الله ربنا هو الاله so brother has a very good question he said he met a christian friend and the christian friend he said that you see please i don't want to talk about all this religion and all this you believe in one god i believe in one god and let me be a christian i believe god is only one so that's enough your god and my god is the same so saying one god is enough for me because religions are creating divisions brother suppose you 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 ask that christian again you say to him he takes an admission in the school on the admission form they say father's name so will he write my father is only one he won't write everybody knows his father is one the management of the school or the college will say no no your father is one we know there can't be two biological fathers what we are asking is who is your father no so you see sir your father is also one my father is also one so let us believe father is one and can you do that so it's a stupid statement to give actually islam is very clear allah said even if you say you believe in allah in what kind of an allah do you believe in unless you don't believe in allah like allah wanted you to believe according to surah ikhlas then you are not believing in allah when was it revealed three christian missionaries they come to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in madina friday prayers like friday we had the prayers today after juma salah they come to him in masjid an nabawi they say ya rasulullah o prophet muhammad o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we want to speak to you about islam they start speaking to him on islam friday night falls prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asks them to take rest in masjid an nabawi saturday whole saturday they discuss saturday night falls the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam takes says take rest in the masjid an nabawi tomorrow morning i know sunday is your holy day whatever worship you have to do do it on in the corner of the masjid and again we will talk sunday they come back to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they say 3 days we are speaking to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you are talking about allah 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 said this is permitted this is forbidden allah said this allah said this allah did this allah did this this is allah this is allah. who is this allah why did they ask that question because first thing prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam except arabic did not know any other language so the christians who were speaking to him were arab christians their mother tongue was also arabic they were born arab christians in arabian region there are more than 14 million born arab jews and christians whose mother tongue is arabic encyclopedia britannica today tells us that even before muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born even before the birth of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the jews and christians of the arabian region they had no other choice to call the god but by the name allah so allah was an existing name you see what is the name of the father of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam abdullah meaning allah was an existing name what did they call the kaaba they called it baitullah meaning allah's name already existed therefore allah said in surah baqarah surah number 2 ayat number 8 وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَن يَقُولُ آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَبِالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَمَا هُمْ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ Among them there are a few who say they believe in Allah and Akhirat but they are not Mu'min. Why did he say that? Because Allah wanted to clarify that even if you get somebody who says I believe in Allah that is not enough ask him how does he believe in Allah? So when Muhammad Sallam was constantly telling them Allah the three Christians thought we are already believing in Allah So again why are you calling us to believe in Allah now they ask the question who is this Allah our nabi akram sallam was silent and Allah answered the question Allah said qul say to them they ask about me qul huwa Allah ahad say to them he is Allah the only one wala taqulu salasa they say Allah the father Allah the son Allah the holy ghost say to them he is not three in one Ask them not to say Trinity. Wala taqulu salasa. Don't say Trinity. Surah Nisa, Surah number four, Ayat number one seventy one. Allah said, Wala taqulu salasa. Don't say Trinity. In tahu kairul lakum. Leave that statement. It is good for you. How is Allah? He is not one of the three. He is ahad, meaning the only one. Allah who is samad. He is a samad, the absolute and eternal. A samad is an attribute of Allah. which befits none except allah you know why every other god that is worship besides allah the fake god that god is dependent upon something jesus is dependent upon his mother to come in the world 
Jesus is dependent to eat the food. Jesus is dependent to sleep. A samad means the one who needs none. And everyone besides him, they need him. And that does not fit except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to anybody. Allah who is samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He has no parents, no children. Walam yakul lahu kufwan ahad. And there is none like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when that Christian is telling you this, say first of all, identity by the name is very important. If it is important to identify who your father is, how is it unimportant to identify the true God? It is important. Then when you are identifying by name, it is very important to identify the attributes and names. And that perfection is through the Quran. All the names of Allah, all the attributes of Allah, as Allah chose for himself, and as Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam chose and explained to us through his authentic ahadis. That is all we believe in Allah. Other than this, Allah said there are people who say they believe in Allah, but they are not believers. I hope I answered that question. Allahu Rabbuna huwal ilahu